Hey guys, what if I told you you can have a pressurized hot water shower while camping with no 12 volt pump needed? Well, thanks to the bazooka water tank, I can. Let's check it out. Before we get started on the review guys, I just want to be open and honest as usual. I've been speaking with Benjamin from Bazooka Water Tanks since July last year. Um, he's a small business, recently started out, does all this on his own, um, and he's been wanting me to test this tank for quite a while, but he wanted to wait until he was very happy with the product uh, before he sent it to me for a full review. So he's been doing a lot of revisions to the design, such as a Raptor coating on the outside, so now it's really tough. Um, before he was happy enough for me to yeah check it out myself. So. Let's rip it off the roof now and have a look. Now that we have the tank off the roof, the first thing I want to run through with you is how it's mounted. This is one thing I was really curious about, but it's actually done quite a good job with it. You've got two pieces of the mounts here. This clips in together there, with one bolt goes through there. Uh, he's got insertion rubber on the mount here, so it's not going to wear away at the tank. And he's offset the two bolt holes, so you can either have it facing downwards, or you can turn it and have it facing up. So you've got plenty of mounting options there. So I was pretty happy with these mounts. Let's have a look at the tank. Starting off at this end here, you've got your filler here, which you can fill straight from a hose, whatever you want straight from there. You have your pressure release valve, uh, which is set to 65 psi, so it won't exceed that. So you don't need to worry about overpressurizing this. Um, 40 psi is the recommended pressure, but it can handle up to 65. So good safety feature there. Uh, it's got a ball valve here with a swivel nozzle for your tap here. and. Plenty of pressure. Down the other end of the tank, you've got your air valve here, a little valve cap on it. You can put your compressor straight up to that and compress the tank that way. If you're filling this tank up at home, there's no need to use the compressor. Uh, simply open the lid, connect your hose, turn the hose on. Uh, when it gets nearly full, close that lid up and the mains pressure will pressurize the tank and it's ready to go, it's that simple. To be able to use this as a shower, you can purchase this swivel shower head. You can bend it to any angle you need. Just plug it straight on. It's got uh, a flow meter and you're on and off. So you just open the valve and there you go, shower ready to go. People have been curious about how this actually heats up water. Uh, it's made of aluminium with a black coating of wrapped paint over the top. So as long as it's on your roof or in direct sun, um, it'll heat up directly from the sun. Uh, at the moment, if it's a cloudy day or say winter time, um, it's not gonna heat up, but you'll still have a pressurized tank. But the owner of Bazooka Water Tanks is currently working with another company to come up with a heat exchange. So that even if it is a cloudy day or winter time, um, you'll still be able to have hot pressurized water. And you should have that ready by winter time this year. One thing I wasn't expecting, he's already thought ahead and provided you with some spare fittings. You got a spare pressure release valve here and also a spare air valve. Um, in the past, he's had some customers go out bush and obviously had these exposed and a tree branch has come along and knocked off these fittings. So it gives you spare fittings, just plug straight back in. And also, I wasn't expecting this either, a little hose adapter. Um, if you out bush or if you're in a caravan park or something and you go to a tap and it doesn't have the fitting, he gives you the fitting just to plug the hose straight into, ready to go. So he's thought of everything. One more little extra he included that I wasn't expecting were these little thermometer stickers. He gives you two of these so you can always tell how hot the water is before you use it. There's four size tanks available. Now I chose the smallest tank available. Uh, it's 1.25 meters long and holds 22 liters of water. Now I didn't want any bigger tanks. Um, my car's already heavy enough and I can only fit a small tank up on that roof anyway. So I went with the shortest one, and now I've actually got it lengthways straight across the car. So you wouldn't even know it was there. It's hidden up there. I think it's the perfect size for my car. Now there's also uh, the Jimny, which is 1.4 meters, uh, holds 25 liters. There's the extra length of two meters, which holds 35 liters. And there's the big boy at 2.5 meters and holds 45 liters. So depending on your needs, there's plenty of different sizes available for you. Since I posted this on Instagram yesterday, there's been two points people are a bit concerned about that I want to address. First of all is the weight. They worry about weight on their roof. 
Um, that was something I was really concerned about too when I first seen this tank. I actually thought it was made of steel and not aluminium. So I was really surprised when it rocked up and lifted it up. It was only 4.3 kilos. Um, it's made of aluminium, so it's extremely light. And 24 kilos once it's up on my roof. So that's the weight of an awning basically. But I did have another idea. If you didn't want to use this for hot water, there's nothing wrong with just having a pressurized tank underneath your tray. It's not going to heat up from the sun, but that weight is going to be as low as possible. So that'd be pretty simple still to bolt straight underneath your tray and you've got a nice hidden tank. The second point people were really concerned about was the price. If you go to the website, they're listed um, starting from $650, which does sound pretty steep, but if you compare that to other water tanks on the market, um, it's pretty much on par. And how many other water tanks have you seen that can hold pressure? Now, people have said, well, I could just make this at home out of PVC for 50 bucks. Well, yeah, you could, um, but would you trust PVC with these kinds of pressures? Um, PVC deteriorates over time as well. Um, this is made out of aluminium. It's TIG welded um, and welded high quality fittings throughout, as well as he hadn't even skimped on the paint. He um, wrapped a coating all over it. No expense has been spared. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll be honest, I was actually really concerned um, about having that much weight on my car. Um, it wasn't until I received it and lifted it up and felt the weight of it where I wasn't as concerned. But my original plan for that weight was to have these removable brackets fitted, um, made by Rax Brax. Uh, they're lockable, simply unlock them, uh, release the hinges, lift it up, and you can just remove it straight off your car. So that was the plan, not to have this on the car all the time, because I really didn't want to drive around all the time with this much weight on the car. But yeah, once it actually arrived and I seen it was only 4.3 kilos, that's nothing. So I've just fixed this straight to the car, straight to the roof racks. As you can see, the hole's up there, and that's it. I'll, this will never come off my car now. Uh, when I'm not using it, I'll just empty the tank out, um, and that's it, 4.3 kilos, that's all it will be. Like I've mentioned, I did not pay for this tank, uh, but would I have bought it and paid full price? I would have. Um, I did look at other tanks previously, and underneath my car, I've got no room at all. I've got a spare tire under there. There's just no room at all for a tank under there. I can't fit one in the canopy. Um, so now that I can fit this on the roof and it's not overly big, it's just perfect for what I need. We don't use a lot of water while we're camping. Um, and now that I can save on a 12 volt pump, which I was really concerned about too. I, in my canopy, I've got no room to permanently mount a 12 volt pump. I can't put one under there. I've just, for years now, I've wanted one, um, but just, I didn't know how to do it. So I've never had a 12 volt pump and never had really water while we're camping. We're always just bringing bottles of water, which is quite annoying. So yeah, had I not been given this, I would have paid full retail for this. If you'd like to check these tanks out for yourself, I'll leave a link to the website in the description below, or you can just look them up on Instagram under Bazooka Water Tanks. Uh, I'm not being paid anything for this. I don't get any affiliate money, nothing like that. He just sent me this tank to do an honest review, which I've tried to do. Um, now I've only had this for a couple days now, so I don't can't do a full run down on it. I'll do another review, probably six months time, a long term review, let you know how it's going, whether it's stood up to the test of time, uh, and we'll see how it goes then. But if you've got any more questions about how this works, don't hesitate, leave a comment. I'm always happy to answer. If you like this video, leave a like, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. But thanks for watching the video, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.